And if you have big dreams and you want to experience exponential growth, marketing is your cake. What's the most important metric to magic success? So I'm going to get like, I'm going to get a little bit like businessy here. <laughs> okay. Cool. So in my opinion, well, actually, I don't even think it's an opinion. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to say that this is fact. Okay. So most people measure profit and loss, revenue and expenses. Those are not your most important metrics in your business. The two most important metrics in your business are actually cost per acquisition and lifetime value. How much does it cost for you to acquire a new customer, client, person? And what is the lifetime value of that client? Are they going to keep working with you? Are you the kind of agent who is one and done? If that's the case, we have a problem and we need to look at actual service package, performance, things like that. Those are the two that I think are really important. Now, as you're scaling a real estate business, a lot of the time people will say, well, my business is 100% repeat and referral, so my cost per acquisition is zero. Okay, that, but that also means that you're probably not running a real business. And I know that's gonna be super triggering for a lot of people watching this, but if you are running a 100% repeat and referral business, you're relying on other people to market for you. You have no control over whether they have that conversation, what they say, whether they bring you up in conversation, you know, especially in the last couple of years, we haven't had large Thanksgiving dinners that have been happening. We haven't had huge Christmases where people are like entire families are sitting around the table and talking about the new house and who did you work with? And I'm thinking about moving. So if you're hundred percent repeat and referral, I would say that you're actually playing your business small. You can get to a certain level of repeat and referral, but it's also slower. And if you have big dreams and you want to experience exponential growth, marketing is your cake. Your repeats and referrals are just the icing. So if we're thinking that way and we're thinking like a real scalable, unlimitedly scalable business, then your cost per acquisition is really important. How much does it actually cost you output wise to acquire a, a new customer, a new client? And then how is your service, your signature system, the, the, your methodology of how you serve these people, how is it working to keep that person in a lifetime value situation? The other thing that's really important to note too, is if you're, if you're bringing in more and more people and you're doing a really great job, then your referral business also grows right? There's an element of evangelism that will actually also exponentially grow your business. This is how people go from $150,000 a year to a million, two million, two and a half million dollars a year in a year. And it's because that exponential growth is possible through really high levels of service and also making sure that you're bringing more and more and more people in that create more and more evangelism, right? So instead of thinking that your business has to grow like this, you can hockey stick. And it all comes down to really good marketing, getting people in your audience faster and being able to make connection with those people so that your business is coming to you inbound and you're not building a business off of chasing or only repeat and referral.